Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this new tutorial today. We are talking about web security again. We are talking about injections, uh, especially about SQL injections today. So you can use uh, the web page rudolfsonspizza.esy.es for uh, following this tutorial. I will reset this page every now and then so that you have a great experience hacking this web page, okay? So um, let's get back to the slideshow web security. So first off, everything you learn here is for securing your own web applications and not to hack anybody else's, okay? And because it's illegal and it's evil. And of course, I'm not liable for any special direct or indirect damage or for any other damage resulting from the use of information presented in this video. So, injections again. What is injection? Uh, according to Wikipedia, injection is used by an attacker or hacker to introduce or inject code into a vulnerable computer program and change the course of execution. So, for an SQL injection, we need a formula that uses SQL, uh, uh, an SQL statement to do something. In, in our web application. So, uh, with web, uh, with SQL injections, we can select, insert, drop, update everything from a database. Okay. So, uh, if our web application is not secure enough, of course, if our web application is secure, this is not possible. And we will learn about, uh, prepared statements about the PDO, PHP data object, uh, which uh, gives us the opportunity of prepared statements with placeholders and all that stuff. And we will learn about that a little bit later. But uh, to use, to make use of SQL injections, a hacker has to know the code behind or has to guess what's the, what's the code like that's working on a server. So for a login form, it's possible that you have a SQL statement that looks something like this. Select star from user. User is our user table where every user is stored. And then we select the user where the username is equals to username, which we input here, for example. And then the user password uh, equals to the user password which we input here, for example. So uh, if a hacker uh, knows that we're not using a prepared statement and we are using uh, just the uh, variables here, uh, he could inject some SQL here because uh, the database does not parse the SQL statement before and knows where is the hole and then put uh, the uh, placeholders in in these holes uh, because the database simply parses the SQL statement. And this could end up with an injection that looks something like this. We say select star from user where username equals and then we close the uh, we close the uh, quotation mark for username and then say or one equals one route. The route or double dash is simply uh, commenting out everything what is behind that route or hashtag, okay, or double dashes. So uh, this, this hack only works if there is something else wrong with the web application. So let's take a look at our uh, web application. So we have my handler here and every time our login page gets fired, it goes to the my handler inside of this if statement. And of course, this web application is just programmed in two hours. I don't use any object oriented style. It's just straight off and really, really dumb. But here we have our select statement. And as you see, we simply input our, uh, our variables. So it's injectable at first. Okay. 
But then we have to count how many rows we get back. And if the web program has something like is greater than zero, then we can inject this. Because if we say uh, or one equals one and one equals one is always true, a select statement uh, gives back true or false. And if it's true, it gives you back every row. And if not, it's it's if it's, if it's false, you don't get any row. So we make this select statement true because we select every every user where username is empty or one equals one and one equals one is always true. So we will get back every user in this database. So if there are five users in a database, we will get back every five users. So the row count will result in five. And if there is something like result equals one, this whole hack would not work because the num rows, uh, the result of num rows is five and not one. But if there is something like greater than zero inside of the web program, then it will work because five is greater than zero. And this is great. So let's try it out. We simply say quotation mark or one equals one route login. And as you see, we're logged in and we have a username. Great. So we can do stupid stuff in the back end, creating new pizzas or posting in a secret chat or I don't know what you want to, what you want to do. So that's it for this video. No, that's not it for this video because I want to show you how you can make this web application more secure. So, okay, this is the don't do this part. Okay, so we're commenting this out and do this. Why? Use the PDO, uh, PDO object. So I show you, we create a new PDO object which has some functions like a prepared statement function. And we use this video simply by telling we have name, post username, and then we make a prepared statement. And instead of uh, setting our variables inside of this prepared statement, we put placeholders inside of it. Like colon one, colon two. And then we say execute this statement. And inside of the execution, we could uh, say that the placeholder one has to be filled with the variable name and the, uh, and the placeholder two has to be uh, filled with the uh, password. Okay. So, uh, and then we uh, simply make a row count and if this equal one, then it's, we will log in this user. Okay, great. So this is pretty secure now because if we try it again and say something like this, login, user does not exist. Great. So you, we are safe. Uh, what happens here? So the prepared statement uh, gives you the opportunity to make holes in inside of your uh, SQL statement. Okay. So we call a function on our PDO object, which is created inside of the variable DB. And where is it here? And then we have a function that is called prepare. And there is a similar function in almost every programming language. All right. So, uh, use always a prepared statement and use placeholders instead of variables. What happens? Um, the PDO object sends this, uh, request to the, uh, database. The database, uh, parses this statement, knows there is a hole on this two points, because if there is a, uh, a colon, 
it knows, okay, this is a placeholder for something. And I know the complete statement. And if there is a second statement that gets sent inside of these placeholders, just uh, use it as a simple string. Don't uh, do anything else with it. So it parses the statement before and then it gets back, sends the, uh, uh, the placeholders to the database and the database executes the statement with the uh, variables for the placeholders. And if there is a second statement inside of it, it simply uses it, use it as a string and not as a, uh, a special insert statement or something else. So this is pretty secure now. But what we also have to do, you should uh, use password encryption because this is pretty unsecure if you have a password without any encryption. But we will learn about this in the next video. So what are we going to learn in the next video? In the next video, we are using this formula to output anything that's inside of the user database. So instead of displaying the pizzas here, we're using this form to uh, display the username and the password. All right. So that's it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see us in the next video. Don't forget to share this video, of course. Bye.